You can print many, many, many miniatures with a bottle of resin. Seriously, it's a lot. Through this week, I try to measure exactly how many miniatures we can print with one liter of resin, avoiding waste as much as possible and getting miniatures in number and, of course, quality. And I can tell you that from the results I got, 3D printing is the way to go if you want quality and quantity for your tabletop adventures. Hey strangers, Baby here. What's up? If you know your way around a 3D printer, you probably know that we can get some estimation of the resin spent on the Slicey software. In our library of miniatures, we have a variety of sizes labeled by small, medium, large, huge and gargantuan in two scales, 32mm and 75mm. We also got busts, props and terrains. Considering that, I called my organic 3D printer Lucas so we can test some scenarios. Hey, what's up, guys? Shall we? Let's suppose you want to have more fun at your table and print an army of zombies. Because who doesn't like zombies, right? Those here are medium-sized miniatures in a 32mm scale. Since we already went on this journey, we identified that this type of piece is going to spend around 7 to 12 milliliters of resin. To this calculation, we also got to add a waste margin, which we previously calculated as around 25% of the final total. The margin of waste includes the supports and the resin wasted on the washing process of the mini. So, let's do this math. With one liter of resin, considering the margin of waste, we can print up to 100 miniatures. Whoa! Wow. That's a lot, don't you think? We know that the resin price may vary according to their different features, but we are gonna go here with the average cost of $50. If you consider the liter of resin costing $50, that will make your mini cost around 50 cents, okay? Okay. But okay, let's consider other scenarios here, in case you don't want to spend all of your resin with a zombie apocalypse. Before you continue, let me tell you guys that we print all these files in our brand new information 8K resin printer. We also got their washing machine and curing box as well. This 3D printer is new in the market and has caught everyone's attention because of its built-in heating system. And it's very friendly UI and UX. Moving on, let's see how much resin we would spend by printing one entire bundle with 32mm miniatures and objects. To do this math stuff, I chose Lutz 2024 March bundle, Reign of the Cold Heart. First, I calculated how much resin I would spend in only the characters without the objects, because I know the objects are heavier and I can also think about printing them in FDM. By putting the characters on the slicer, I got the number of almost 400 milliliters. Then I calculated the total spent of only the objects. Just to have an idea of the spent and really decide if I want to print them in FDM or resin, and that number was around 530 milliliters. Time to do some math again. 530 plus 400. That will give us the final total spent of 930, which is less than one liter we have in the bottle. But this final number wouldn't give us the margin of waste we needed. So it's kind of a risk to try to print all the characters and the objects. I will choose to print only the characters and I will exclude all these rocks because I have them in my garden. Now we've talked about the 32mm, let's talk a little bit about our 75, which are great options for the painters because they are crazy about details. In this case, the variation between the characters will be bigger because their volume is bigger. Yes, yeah, science! Even though we recommend that you print them hollow, they are going to spend around 60ml of resin. But of course, the difference between a 75mm medium human mini and a 75 medium arc is obvious. Considering that, let's simulate the printing of all the enemies of the bundle Night Hunters in 75mm scale. That gave me the result of 1045ml of resin spent. So, let's remove the large characters Luke Garou and the Headless Horseman. And that leaves us with a spent of 620ml of resin, which is just enough for us to print 11 75mm characters with the bottle of resin, considering the margin of waste. 
You guys already know that Loot Studios does some badass props, which are great for surprising your players at the table and make you the coolest DM, right? You can make your table more immersive by printing rings, can holders, dice towers, and even a mask. So let's simulate the resin spent on these props, shall we? Talking about rings, we got 7 on the bundle Eye of the Watcher. And for them, you would spend only 20 milliliters of resin. Adding the margin of waste of 25%, we will have 25 milliliters in total. That means you can print around 200 rings. But you're not a lot of rings, right? My precious. There's no need for all of this. So let's calculate how much you would spend to print the coolest can holder to hold your energetic drink. We chose our mid-season reward, the can holder of breath, for example. The total resin spent the slicer gave us was 400 milliliters. And also adding the margin of waste of 25%, you can easily print this can holder with your one bottle of resin. Now the prop that will make your table go nuts. A dice tower. Let's do this whole mess stuff with the Wondagar Dice Tower from Journey to Nidavelli. The slicer gave us the total of 880 milliliters of resin, including the margin of waste. Just enough for us to print it. Nice! Nice! In Lutz library, we got some cool dice towers, and that's one which you can print by using less than one liter of resin. Let's go to our last prop, the mask. For that, I chose Mask of Desire from Carnival of Lust bundle. Because 1. I can't print this monstrosity with one bottle. And 2. Maybe in case you are playing some Carnival Renaissance Fair campaign. The slicer gave me the total spent of 875 milliliters of resin, considering the margin of waste. Just enough for you to use your bottle to print it. And uh, you will look good with a mask. Well, we're almost getting to the end of this video. But before that, I'm going to give you a bonus info that everyone who sees some statues like this dies to know. When you look at a piece like this, the first thought is the price. And yeah, a piece like this statue costs around 5k dollars. If we're talking about resin spent, this statue spent around 12 liters of resin. If we consider 50 dollars being the average cost of the resin, you would spend around 600 dollars to print Vic Matt Bear statue, saving almost $4,500. Of course, we're not considering the price of other materials you would have to use to have the final statue. The tools, the super glue, the painting material, and that kind of stuff. But still, you would save a lot of money. Well, with all these calculations in mind, now you know approximately how much resin you would spend to print a zombie apocalypse, 75 mm miniatures for the painter who lives inside you, some cool props to impress your player and those crazy cool statues. And it's up to you to decide the fate of your bottle of resin. Of course, you will not be satisfied with just one, right? But now that you already know how to calculate your printing spent, you can plan ahead and save yourself from bankruptcy. And it's a great reminder that you always gotta have enough resin on your vat to do your printing. Tell me in the comments below what would you choose between these scenarios. And if you like this video, consider giving us a thumbs up and becoming a subscriber in our channel. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and visit our website. Bye!